So today is the... It's 3.40. It's Tuesday, January 27th. And... Today's lesson, we're going to be talking about... Uh, this is from Verizon. We're going to be talking about fraudulent email phishing and smishing attacks. And so this is from, like I said, it was on 125-2015. It's from uh, Verizon Wireless, the More Everything Plan. And so we're going to be learning about fraudulent email phishing FAQs. What is cellular fraud? Cellular fraud or cloning is defined as unauthorized use, tampering, manipulation of mobile phone or services. This would be the settings, anything that has to do with the mobile phone. What should I do if my phone has been cloned or hacked? Visit this website and file a report or go into the store and let them know. My phone has been hacked or cloned. I'd like to suspend my service. How can I do that? I didn't look that up, but I'm sure you just go in and tell them. Uh, text messaging scams. What is email phishing and text message scams? Phishing and smishing are designed to steal information by posting as a legitimate company. Uh, criminals attempt to con or mislead individuals into providing personal information in many ways, including by email, text message, and, sc and scam phone calls that appear for a legitimate business. Personal information that may be requested includes credit card information, account passwords, account information, other valuable inf information, passwords, updates, anything. How do email and text message scams work? How do email and text message scams work? Email and text message scams usually are well-known brand names such as bank, insurance, or even Verizon Wireless. This is where I've seen this right here, and I've even seen it as Apple. The deceptive messages are called spoof emails because they spoof or fake the appearance of known websites and company. Typically, the message requests the recipient to update and confirm personal information, or they do it for you. Link may be provided in the website that may be displayed, the company logo, and other recognized elements of the company. And it says, uh, malware may be downloaded to other users' devices, or the criminals will capture information supplied by the user. How do I know if I received a phishing email or text scam, text message scam? There's several ways that you can tell, including generic greetings. Instead of using the name, many messages scams will begin with a general greeting such as dear, customer, whatever it is. Incorrect account information. So this is a big one. Will attempt to scare you with the large balance and someone has recently updated your account or they will update your account and then you know false sense of urgency fake links what should I do if I receive a Verizon wireless email or text message that seems fraudulent? which I did I went in the store and let them know but here's many different things you should really go in the store and let them know because if it's your thing your information's hacked everything's hacked So it says that you can forward it to this address, but you really should go in and tell them. Because if someone hacked your phone or your uh, computer, if they hacked one, they hacked them all. And this none of this is going to work. And so that's uh, information on fraudulent email phishing FAQs. So whenever you see that, and the best example I can show you is right here. Okay, watch this. 
So, for example, right here, I am going to compose a text message. Okay. And I am going to go like this. And I'm going to make a 4152180. This one right here. See the vtex.com? So these are all the test messages I sent out. And as you can see, they'd come back on this side. They haven't yet. So I know that they're not going through, but I'm going to show you something. So this should go through and it should come right back from this side and it should appear on this side right here. But it doesn't. So when I send this, it comes through a whole new email address, which is not the Verizon SMS address as I previously have shown in uh, the Verizon SMS address uh, and how it works. And see, nothing. So that's the information to show you how it's working. It's not working. This phone is hacked. And you can do your own test at home and see if your phone is working or your phone is hacked. Thank you for watching, and you can find us on WebJC uh, under We the People or WebJC We the People on YouTube, Internet Event Review on Facebook, and also on today's RG News on Twitter and WebJC Event Review on Twitter also. Thank you for watching.